One non-reproductive structure which you can easily see on this model is a muscle, a skeletal muscle, which covers the obturator foramen because it attaches to the obturator membrane and to the bone that surrounds the obturator membrane. The fibers of this muscle then insert on the medial side of the greater trochanter of the femur. This muscle, which you can see on either side here and over here, is the external obturator muscle, and it is a lateral rotator of the thigh at the hip joint. Right over here on the top, we have the urinary bladder. On this side, the peritoneum is still present. Here, on this side, it has been stripped off, so you can see the detrusor muscle of the urinary bladder. Here, on either side are the ureters. Now, other structures that are visible include the internal obturator muscle, which is on this side and on this side. And this muscle right over here, which is coming down and supporting the pelvic floor, coming on either side of the anus right over here, is the levator ani muscles. You can see the urinary bladder is partly covered by peritoneal membrane, which is right on the top surface. It attaches to the surrounding tissue inferiorly, so you don't have a peritoneal membrane lining the bladder in this region. Right over here, this muscle is the detrusor muscle, and you can see that the interior lining, the mucosa of the urinary bladder is thrown up into these folds, which are referred to as rugi. Now, these rugi are present everywhere within the interior lining of the urinary bladder, except for right over here, where the mucosa becomes smooth and forms a structure known as the trigone. It's a triangular structure, and you find at its apices, you find the opening of the two ureters, and at one apex, you find the opening of the urethra. Now, if we look at the other half of this model, you can again see the same structures. So let's just go over them again. You can see the rugi, which are simply the wrinkles of the mucosa. And right over here, where you have this number 65, that is one half of this structure known as the trigone. And again, you can see at one apex right over here, which is numbered number 66 on this model, you have the opening of the ureter. And right over here, you have the opening of the urethra.